Thank you for joining me in this video about being intentional, the series of videos named after a book by the same name, which shows you what to do in terms of the components which make up your identity, your grit, your drive, your hopes, your beliefs, and your attitude, uh, so that you more closely align your internal world with your external aspirations and achieve more of the things that you want at a lesser cost to you. Over the past few weeks, you have sent me a whole lot of emails, you've sent me uh, messages, you've responded to the comments where I have posted these videos. And for that, I'm grateful because it gives me an idea of some of the issues which you face and allows me to create content that more closely addresses your needs as opposed to what I think you should be doing. Being intentional is never about being prescriptive, quite the opposite as a matter of fact. It is about allowing you to understand how to better fit who you are into the construct which we call the world at a lesser cost to you. So it's all about reducing the friction that we experience on a daily basis. Today's video, as it happens, is uh, answering a very simple question that has come um, through a number of emails over the last couple of weeks, quite a significant number of emails actually, um, which shows perhaps the difficulty in understanding some of the things which we need to do in order to be more intentional. And the question is, in its simplicity, how do we become more intentional in our daily life? Now, I know it sounds um, perhaps a little bit silly that we need to address this, but it is anything but. As a matter of fact, our daily life, as it is structured, is there for us to behave and act in ways that require as little energy and thinking as possible. So being intentional in our daily life is quite a deep thing to address and sometimes, as we'll see, quite a hard thing to do. So do I have an answer to that? Obviously I do because I've written a book and I've thought about it very much because of the presentations that I have uh, had across the world and the questions that I've had to field as a result. And the question of how to be more intentional on a daily basis comes up again and again. So I'm not really surprised that so many of you actually emailed me that. Here's what I will say. Because your particular circumstances and context and capabilities are going to be different each time. The prescription which I'm going to supply here is a formula. So essentially, if you really want to be more intentional in everything you do, here's what you need to do. Think about the implications and the effects of your actions in the future not just actually the moment that you perform them in, and then consider whether those implications and those effects from your actions are going to take you further along your stated journey. Are they going to help you meet your future goals? Are they going to make you feel better about yourself so you can operate more efficiently? Are they going to perhaps, to get back to my earlier example, create less friction for you so that your life on an everyday basis becomes a little bit easier, perhaps your daily life or perhaps even your you know, working life or your operational mode. And that's it really. I mean, that simplicity is all there is to it. And I know that as simple as it is to actually say, it is really hard to do. It means that now, if you find yourself in a situation where you would just automatically react, you know, if somebody pushes you, you push back, for instance, now you actually have to think whether the next thing that will happen in that example I've just given is going to take you further along the way that you want to go down to. Do you want, for instance, to be known as a brawler? Do you want to have that kind of reputation? Do you want to get in a situation where you, you know, um, actually hurt somebody? Do you want to get into a fight? Do you want to um, think of yourself as somebody who behaves like that? These are all questions that you need to take into account in that sort of instant example I gave of somebody pushing and you pushing back. So if you apply that to everything you encounter, then you get into the habit of actually thinking about what you do, thinking about your implications, and thinking about how the future you're heading towards actually starts in the present that you inhabit. And that calculus now is going to change everything because it takes a lot more uh, variables into account and you will probably find that your own actions 
your own values, your own perspective change as a result. I really hope this helps. Keep the questions coming in. Keep watching these videos. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Do share this video if you haven't done it already. It helps other people find it and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Take care.